All right, gang, did you have a happy Thanksgiving? Well, you're probably getting tired of seeing what remains of the turkey, but I've got one last dish that I want to show you, which is a great way to get rid of your leftovers. It's called turkey tetrazzini. And all you're going to need are the following. You need a big old pan, which I'm going to use my jambalaya pan. And then you just need a few basic ingredients. You know, you've got basically some chopped onion, like so. You've got some chopped zucchini. Of course, what's left of the turkey. You'll need some of your aspic, the, uh, basically the gel that's left from your turkey, which came, which is what you make your gravy out of. You're going to need some of this stuff, grated cheese, and you're going to need a quarter cup of butter or margarine, a quarter cup, or actually an eighth of a cup of flour, and you're going to need a cup of milk. We're also going to throw a little white wine, a little bit of herbs in there, but the first thing I want to do is get my onions to sautéing. So you take all the butter, I don't know, it looks like a lot, you take all the butter and you put it into the pan. So let me focus on the pan over here. Get nice and close so you can see what's going on. You just want to melt that down. Make sure you get all of it that you can. And I know it looks like a lot of butter, but you have to understand that eventually what we're going to do here is we are going to be putting, it's going to be part of our sauce. So once that gets done, we're going to dump in our zooks. And I like to just put them on their belly so they all get nice and done. Under that, I'm going to add my onions. And then we're going to cook that down for, oh, about five minutes. So stand by and I will be right back. Now you can see that I've got the zucchinis and the uh, onions brown nicely. By the way, you can also do this with mushrooms. I just prefer to make it a little more traditional Italian style. And then you want to pop in your flour and you want to stir. The whole point is, is to get the flour to disappear into the butter before we put on the next ingredient because again we don't want to create lump soup here. All right. Then I'm going to start adding on some of my aspic which is the uh, jellied turkey juice. Start with that. Generous. There you go. And now the secret is to try to get the flour to combine with that, which it's doing. Then we'll add in our milk. In my case, almond milk. I'm going to put about half of it in there. I can always add more. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of white wine to the mix. It's about a half a cup. trying to turn this into a bit of a sauce before we add on the turkey and the noodles. You'll notice no lumps. Okay. I'll give it just a little more of the cream. Then I'm going to add in the turkey. Uh, you're going to want this cook with the lid on for about, I'd say, 15 minutes or so. Put on a little bit of our Italian blend. Then we're going to throw in some Parmesan. There we go. And you can actually put this over linguine or fettuccine, but I just happen to have some homemade Bavarian noodles, which I'm going to add right into the mix, as you can see. And these are called Spesleys, and yes, I do show you how to make these on Man Cave Munchies. Mix those in. 
And I might need to add a little bit more wine, but you want to do it a little bit at a time because if you do it too fast, what happens is you screw it up. So less is more. And we don't want it to be a soup. Again, we want it to be a nice gravy. I think I'll add the rest of the specialties in there. There we go. Waste not, want not, right? I think I'll give it another little splash of wine. But you can see it's, it's looking nice. It's already turned into a nice sauce. A little more wine. There we go. Give it a stir. And then I'm just going to seal up the lid and let it cook. I'll turn down the stove and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Be right back. There you go, guys. Brian, a little pepper on top, and you're good to go. Turkey Tetrazzini a la Man Cave Munchies.